hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous video related to rotating electrical machines we discussed the important terms and notations uh, used for describing the angular motion or the rotatory motion of the components of the electrical machines because most of the electrical machines they that are used are of rotating type mainly motors and generators so in this video we are going to take our discussion a step forward and we are going to discuss some more concepts uh, related to the rotating electrical machines such as torque work power and newton's law of rotation which is used while describing the mathematical behavior okay the behavior of the rotating electrical machines in terms of mathematical equations okay so the first concept associated with the rotating electrical machines is the concept of torque so the concept of torque is the same as the concept of force in linear motion okay torque in angular motion plays the same role as force in linear motion we know that uh, force or the application of force causes a change in the linear velocity or the speed linear speed of an object okay in linear motion similarly torque it causes a change in the angular velocity of an object so obviously the concept of torque is the same as the concept of force but here torque is applicable for angular motion force is applicable for linear motion so it is a twisting or rotatory force okay a rotating force which causes a change in the angular velocity of an object undergoing rotatory motion okay so the mathematical expression for torque is the force okay the force which is applied at a particular point of impact multiplied with the perpendicular distance from the center of the rotatory motion and the point of impact okay let us try to understand it okay suppose we have an object at this point okay it is undergoing angular motion or rotatory motion along this path okay the circumference of let us say this imaginary circle now suppose a force is applied with its point of impact at this point okay now the radius of this imaginary circle is r and the angle made by this applied force and a normal or a perpendicular drawn along this radius is theta okay the angle between the direction of application of the force and the normal drawn along this radius at this point so this angle is theta so as per the definition of torque it is the applied force multiplied with the perpendicular distance from the point of impact so that perpendicular distance is this okay this distance so if this angle is theta then this angle will be obviously 180 degree minus theta because the total angle of a straight line is 180 degree okay so this is 180 degree minus theta and we know sin 80 degree 180 degree minus theta is sin theta so this distance okay this perpendicular distance from the point of application of force okay the point of impact this distance from the center of rotation and the point of impact is r sin 180 degree minus theta which is equal to r sin theta so we can say 
that the torque at this point of impact is the applied force F multiplied with R sin theta which is the perpendicular distance between the center of rotation the rotating motion and the point of impact this this is the point of impact this is the center of rotation this distance called as the perpendicular distance we calculated r sin theta so the torque is f into r sin theta okay torque is represented by the symbol tau which is equal to f into r sin theta which is equal to rf sin theta and a unit of torque is of course the unit of force which is newton multiplied with the unit of this perpendicular distance which is generally meters okay in si units or the mks units okay so here we understood the concept of torque now this concept of torque is used in newton's law of rotation which is applicable for angular motion or rotatory motion so this torque is equal to and is related okay here the torque is, re, is 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 interrelated with the angular acceleration alpha okay so the torque is directly proportional to the angular acceleration and uh, it is equal to j alpha where j is a constant of proportionality which is called as the moment of inertia okay the moment of inertia of the object undergoing angular motion okay it is similar to newton's second law of motion force is equal to mass into acceleration okay it is the same force is equal to mass into acceleration in linear motion is the same as tau is equal to j alpha in rotatory motion or angular motion here the torque in angular motion is equivalent to force in linear motion alpha or the angular acceleration is equivalent to a which is linear acceleration and the moment of inertia is equivalent to mass in linear motion okay so try to correlate it with newton's second law of motion force is equal to mass into acceleration here torque is equal to moment of inertia multiplied with angular acceleration okay and uh, the unit of moment of inertia is in kilogram per meter second uh, meter square okay now as there is rotate rotatory motion there will be some work involved in it so the work in rotational motion is given by tau integration tau d theta okay so it is integrated for small changes in angular position or angular displacement and if this torque is constant it is given as tau theta so you can correlate it with in linear motion it is given as integration of f dr okay you know in linear motion the work is given by integration f dr where dr is small change in linear position or linear displacement or fr it is also given if the force is constant so here the work in rotational motion is integration tau d theta which is equal to tau theta the multiplication of torque and angular displacement power is the rate at which work is done or the rate of dissipation of energy also so it is the rate at which work is done so power is the time derivative of work so it is simple d by d Uh, dt of tau theta if tau is constant it is tau d theta by dt and we know d theta by dt is nothing but angular velocity okay the rate of change of angular displacement or angular position with respect to time is angular velocity so power uh, the power can be written as tau multiplied with omega torque multiplied with angular velocity so here to understand the concept of uh, torque and force okay torque in rotational motion force in linear motion let us have a comparison between linear and rotational motion 
so in linear motion the linear displacement is represented by r in rotational motion or angular motion the angular displacement is represented by theta the linear velocity is simply the rate of change of displacement with respect to time linear displacement which is v given by dr by dt angular velocity omega is the rate of change of angular displacement or angular position with respect to time which is d theta by dt linear acceleration rate of change of linear velocity with respect to time which is called as a dv dv by dt here the angular acceleration alpha is the rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time which is d omega by dt now it can also be written as d square r by dt square and here d square theta by dt square okay angular acceleration and linear acceleration it can that is also correct next force which is the second law newton's second law of and the linear motion force is equal to mass into acceleration here in rotational motion the newton's law is written as torque is equal to moment of inertia multiplied with angular acceleration okay tau is equal to j alpha which i just discussed previous now work in linear motion is integration f dr that is force multiplied with a small change in linear position or linear displacement small linear displacement here it is tau d theta which is torque multiplied with a small angular displacement or a small change in angular position power is the rate of uh, at rate at which work is done so it is f dr by dt and here it is the rate at which work is done in rotational motion so it is tau d theta by dt so here we have correlated the motion in both the linear motion and rotational motion and the various terms associated with it so now we can easily understand the concept of rotational motion because we can correlate it with the equivalent terms and notations used in linear motion okay so these uh, terms are very important okay these terms and notations are very important because while writing the mathematical equations associated with the electrical machines which will do a lot in case of the working understanding the working principle of motors generators and their various components these terms will be used so in order to have a good understanding we must be very much clear okay about each term and its significance so here we have discussed about uh, the concept of torque okay its mathematical expression newton's law of rotation concept of work power in rotational motion and we correlated each term and notation for uh, linear and rotational motion so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much